Yes, it is I, Donald Dino the Don. What's up to all my fellow musicians out there, artist managers? You know, you also need this info if you are like into the music industry. This, this is straight up for you. Um, welcome. This is episode four of the Music Industry Insight, and today we are doing RISA, R I S A, which stands for the Recording Industry of South Africa. Africa. And if you know or remember guys, Risa is also responsible for the summer. You call them summer awards, but the A on the summer is for awards. So it's South African Music Awards. They are responsible for that. And Risa is also responsible for plaques. You know, when your song has reached gold, they are the one that award you the plaque for the gold status. The, if your song has reached platinum, they do the same thing. Double platinum, that's Risa's job. You know, they have how they, you know, they, they have a system where they are able to, you know, count or gather uh, whether your song, you know, has been downloaded this much or has been, uh, what is it, uh, or it has been, you know, streamed. Uh, this much and then once it reach a certain level or a gold status or platinum status then they award you the plaque so they are responsible for that so now let's get into today's video we are doing the ISRC code as they call it but the C on the ISRC stands for code so we are doing that the international St standard recording code and also you know for membership so that you can be able to uh apply or submit for the awards main focus is the isrc but you know you will see that also you can apply for the for the code so yeah let's get into it i mean for membership let's get into it yeah so remember guys you need to have your id and your addresses written down or if you know them by heart and it's cool so then what you're gonna do is uh, log on to the internet with your browser and then you search for Risa search for Risa or you just search for the recording industry of South Africa then uh, make sure that you look for the correct uh, website which is risa.org.za because any other website you know it might be some other risa and yeah a lot has changed i see risa have changed their website it looks different from the last time i did it so you just come here on the right hand side at the bottom on these three lines click here and then as you can see it's about us members and all about the Risa so you come here on members and then on these three options you come down here to ISRC owners and click there and then you will come to this and then you go here to register your own SRC, ISRC code and then you click here and then you come here on register now And it tells you about you know becoming a member blah 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 and then it will lead you here so you cannot log in because you know you haven't yet registered so you come here on register and then here you're gonna enter your your email address your first name and then your surname and then your mobile number and then after you're gonna click here on register 
so then after entering those t details and clicking register it will lead you to this page where it tells you that registration completed your account has been created an email with your instruction on how to log in has been sent to your email address meaning that you should go to your email address you should log into your email address and once you have logged in into your email address you will get this message here Risa from the Risa portal and then you click on it your account has just been created on the Risa portal so you scroll down and then you'll find this link here it says click here to reset password network guys network network so here now so what you're gonna do here it's actually you know it's like you're creating a password here you're gonna enter the password and here you're gonna repeat it you know just to be sure you will remember it so yeah let's get into it um after entering the password it will tell you that your password has been successfully blah 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 and that's about it and then the password guys remember you, you don't have to completely change your password it can be the one you use for your email or a different one and then what you do after that is that you now log in you enter your email and then you enter your password and then after you wanna come here and click on login now after logging in with your password with your email and password then you come here and register as an artist if you are a company you then register as a company so we are registering as an artist so we click here and then it, it says complete your registration how would you like to proceed you click create a new artist and then as you can see here guys uh, firstly is the artist details which number one will be the type of an artist you are you are a group or a solo let's say you're a solo you click on solo and then here you're gonna enter your stage name which is your aka the name that you go by and then you wanna enter your first name which is your real name and then you wanna come here and enter your last name which is your same name and then you wanna enter your ID number here and then nature of business you can say music and then your email address here and then let's go to the top a bit on this side is the contact details you then gonna enter your cell numbers and then the telephone number if you have and then here it's other details the compact disc importer if you do have one uh, organization manufacturing CD you know where you manufacture your CDs uh, organization distribution your distribution company that you work with organization online distribution the company that you distribute your music on I've seen a lot of people you know they distribute their music online with uh, DistroKid or CD Baby you know and then here on the bottom you enter your physical address yes the street address the city from the province and then the country which is South Africa and then here is the a postal address if you have if you don't have you can still use your physical uh, address 
you can still use your physical address if you don't have a postal address and then if say you are still young maybe under 18 then you add a representative you're gonna enter their name their cell number their email and their action section meaning you know uh, what is the role that they're playing on your career if I should say if I should put it like that and then after all that you're gonna come here and click on save and then after entering those details you do come to this page which tells you about the importance of ISRCs so you you gonna have to read guys you just read make sure you read everything so you understand what's happening and then you understand what you are doing and then after that you're gonna click on next next after clicking on next it's gonna come here disclaimer so you make sure you read as well make sure you go through the details and then after that you're gonna come to this small box here square and then you click on it because that indicates that you have read and understood the above information and after that you click on next and then here you at the module section module selection page so it says which items would you like to register for you may select any number of modules you don't have to select any if you if you just want access to the portal so here we are registering uh, we are registering or applying for the ISRC code and also you know to become a member so that you are able to uh, submit your music for the summer awards and whatnot so you click on both okay so being a member or registering for membership uh, there's money that you're gonna have to pay um, you know I think every January or so it does explain it's about 500 and something so if you know that you're gonna be able to pay that money then you can you know register to be a member if you know right now you can't as you are still an upcoming artist then you just click on the ISRC and then after all that you come here and click on request yep so you click on request and then it says that audio and audio and visual codes are requested so you just wait for a week to two or maybe just a few days two three four days i now have received mine in like four days or so so yeah that's about it that's about it that's how you apply or register for the isrc code So yeah, after a few days or a week to two and then you're gonna get an email from the RISA portal yeah. you're gonna get a message from the RISA portal with your ISRC code uh, codes for both uh, audio and visuals this one here the one on top is for audio and this one below 
is for visuals yes normally it is of course uh, these three letters here and sometimes they do have maybe two letters and a number or two numbers and a letter and then let's uh let's open here mm. so here is an example of how you're gonna use the the code so first it's the country code if you're in south africa then it's z a and then secondly the registration code if it's for audio then you're gonna use the audio one if it's for visual then you're gonna use the visual one and then you enter the year of reference of which it's now 2020 so you're gonna enter 20 if it was 2019 you're gonna enter 19 here if it's 2021 you're gonna enter 21 and then after that here it's the number of the song you are dropping uh, that particular year so after entering your country code your registration your code and then your year of reference you then enter uh, this number so 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, if this is the first single for your for, for you are dropping for 2020 or in 2020 and then if it's the second third or fourth single then here what is one you're gonna enter two three or four don't forget the zeros you enter the zeros very important it has to be five digits zero 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 one zero 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 two zero 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 three and if you are dropping the fourth single this year then it's gonna be zero 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 four like that so yeah that's about it i hope you you know enjoyed the video and have uh, learned quite a lot so if you have please do share do comment tell us let us know what you wanna what you want information on next and yeah also share with others and please don't forget to subscribe and like the video peace yeah so that's about it guys that's how you actually you know apply for the ISRC code and the membership online um like I said the website is you know two different now I, I when I did it I downloaded the forms uh, printed them filled with the pen scan them and then I emailed them back so now I think it's much easier and you know less cost effective doing it online so that's how you use the code the code is you know mainly for submitting your music or your video your song or your video to them stations uh, you know wherever they can use it so if, as you have seen how you, you know you create your own code is that you start with your country code if you're in south africa then it's za it's two and then number two it's your code which is three letters or sometimes you might have two letters and a number and so on you add that the code that they've given you for the audio or for the visual and then number three it's the year it's now 2020 meaning you will just you know write 20 if it was 2019 you will write 19 if it's next year 2021 then you wanna write 21 and then lastly the fourth part on creating your code is this number that it's you know uh, when you let's say that this is the first single you are releasing this year so you're gonna write it has to be five digits so you're gonna write zero 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 one if it's the second single it's zero 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 two if it's the third those zeros four zeros and then number three if it's the fourth four zeros and then 
number four so on for every song you do like that it's that simple and then you know you getting ready to finally submit your song so yeah if you did like the video please like subscribe for more of you know for more content of such nature and then yes like subscribe comment let me know what else you wanna know about so that I you know go do a research and come give you guys the information and also share so yeah that's it Peace, Donaldino. I'm out. Music industry inside, baby.